Hey, so what's going on everybody? Jamie Wagner here again. I just wanted to share something with you guys and it's called Microsoft System Configuration Utility and also known as MS Config. And uh, what this allows you to do is troubleshoot your computer, um, troubleshoot your startup process. It allows you to disable and re-enable programs, software, device drivers, uh, Windows services that run at startup. Um, basically what you want to do is go over to your start menu and if you don't see a tab here that says run that means you need to uh, enable the run command this is probably one of the easier ways to get to MS config and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about here in a minute over here on this side like down on the bottom here you're gonna have a bunch of uh, programs running in the background some of these services that are running now I want them to be running because I utilize them a lot so I'm gonna leave those alone for the most part but when you download programs onto your computer like Adobe Reader a lot of people use Adobe the free PDF viewer or iTunes or something like that by default a lot of times those programs will add their self down in here to your startup so probably a lot of you see stuff down here blinking flashing or you might see like AVG which is a good free uh, virus protection program that I, I like to use that to uh, myself actually and or McAfee or Norton or something like that which is fine to be down here running because it's you know it's your antivirus protection program but anyway I'm just gonna get started here I want to show you guys what MS config is and how to um, you know get into the program the system configuration utility so you can utilize it so what you want to do is go over here this is a Windows 7 computer so some of some of your systems may look a little different um, this is you know this is something that's available on Windows XP Windows Vista Windows 8 and so on so try to follow me here um, as far as getting in here to getting to the MS config I'm using a Windows 7 PC right now so this is how you would do it if you're if you're using Windows 7 so go over here to your start button and if you don't see the run command here somewhere right about right about in here where there's like a, a plain area just right click so you can get this uh, properties tab up and click properties once you're in properties here just choose start menu and then you want to go to customize so in here you can add certain features to your you know your startup menu so you know I check marked uh, my favorites menu so that would show up but anyway we're looking for something called run so you just scroll down through here until you find you know where it says run command you want to check mark that and then apply it and okay so now when we go back to the start button over here we have a run command so once you click the run command and again there's other ways to get in here and uh, other maybe even faster ways but this is just one way to, to conveniently add it to your start menu and what you want to do here is just type in ms c o n f i g for ms config click ok and that's going to bring up something here that says system configuration so in here you have a lot of options to you know restart your computer and boot into certain services or disable or re-enable stuff um, I would be you know also careful in here of what you do anything you go in here and uncheck and say you restart your computer and you find out you're having issues now you can always go back in here go back you know restart your computer go back into the run command and get back in here and recheck anything you've unchecked so you can do this one at a time to be careful with it so you don't um, disable any services that need to be running in the background so like for instance if I click on services down here it says hide all Microsoft services the first thing I'd want to do is check mark that because you know you don't want to disable Microsoft services um, I, I would be very careful to, with that unless you're like an advanced user so in here you know then then that narrows it down to services that you may have in installed additional to the computer like if you downloaded Adobe Flash Player, which is a common one, any Apple products, any Google products, um, Chrome or Steam, you know, I play some games, so I've downloaded Steam. So I know some of those services look familiar to me, so I'm going to leave those on there. But the tab that you're concerned with here would be the Startup tab, okay? 
and in here is going to directly impact the stuff over here in the corner. So some of you can just click disable all and apply it and then restart your computer and you'll see a lot of this stuff disappear which a lot of times I've actually seen this repair computers and the computer runs so much better so as you can see like iTunes is in the list here I unchecked that and all that basically does is with that being unchecked you don't see iTunes like this little icon right here you don't see that icon over here running um, what that means is if I want to open iTunes I'll simply click on iTunes to open it I don't need it running all the time in the background and you know if all this stuff is running over here in the background it's robbing your computer of its performance like big time if a lot of you have a lot of programs installed so I want to try something real quick Adobe I'm gonna download Adobe Adobe Reader which is a common PDF a uh, free PDF viewer so I'm just gonna go in here and take a look at this and if I go up here to where it says download and you choose like Adobe Reader I'm just using this as an example see also right now it has an uh, optional offer I don't want to install McAfee security because most of us probably already have a virus protection running and the, and the last thing you want to do is have two virus protection programs running because they'll conflict against each other and that will really, really kill your computer. Slow it down, it can even cause it to crash and just simply not work. But I'm going to go ahead and, and click install. And this may take a few minutes here but I just want to show you guys that in that system configuration it's going to add itself in there. So what I'm doing right now is just installing a, do a free PDF viewer that everyone's probably familiar with, which is completely fine to use. Although my browser has one, I'm using Google Chrome, so that has a PDF viewer built in. I don't even really need this on my computer. I'm just going to show you guys anyway. Again, this uh, MS config is really good to know about. Um, this is probably the first step in computer repair, cleaning up your computer, um, disabling those unwanted programs from starting. On you know, be, it, it, like I said, it just stops them from starting up in the start menu. If you want to use, if you download iTunes and want to use iTunes, you can. It'll put an icon on your desktop. You simply click on it you can use iTunes and then you close out of it when you're done you don't need it running all the time unless you guys are syncing or doing other things in your PC that you would you know want that running okay so Adobe Reader downloaded so I'm gonna go ahead and, and click on it you know it puts puts the icon over here on my desktop so of course you know accept the terms and conditions Okay, so there I have um, the Adobe Free PDF um, Reader on my computer. So if I go back to my run command now and type in msconfig and go to startup, you can see now inside here it added like Adobe Reader and Acrobat Manager. You know, that's that's gonna you know start next time and be running in the background and I don't I don't need that to be running because you know if I want to use this I'll just open it up and use it and go to file open and open up a PDF or whatever however I want to use it um, it's simply it's installed on my computer but I don't need it running in the background so you want to uncheck that okay like I said some of you can go down through the list and you know if you see something in here that says McAfee you know and there's a string to it over here um, the location here HK, HKLM this is getting into the system registry so some of this stuff is important to be running but I'm just trying to give you guys an idea of you know third-party programs anything you download like additionally that you enjoy using you want to go in uncheck all that junk 
like I have a, a camera software installed on my computer. I uncheck that. You know, I don't need it running in the background, so when I want to use it, I'll just go on, I'll go over here and click on it. So what I would do now, you know, is uncheck that, click OK. You may get a prompt here to restart the computer to make the changes, just tell it OK. So basically, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about in this video for you guys is the MS config, the system configuration utility, and the startup tab here. So give it a shot, go in here, look through some of this stuff. Some of it's, you know, abbreviated. Just be careful. Uh, don't uncheck anything you're not familiar with. Leave Microsoft services running and just uncheck this other stuff like iTunes, Adobe Reader. You really don't need all that kinds of junk running. Go through yours. You'll probably find a lot more stuff in yours than what I have in mine. Um, again, you'll probably have to restart your computer. So, um, basically, that's all I got for you guys. And... Um, that, that'll really help you guys out next time you start your computer you'll see things disappear here so it, it should help you guys with the performance of your PC uh, with things running in, in, in that respect so thanks a lot guys for watching my video and I hope that helps everyone out get in there play around with your um, MS config configuration again if you go in and uncheck something and you notice something's wrong or it becomes unstable, just go back in and recheck it. And work through some of those and get rid of the junk down here in the corner. Alright guys, thanks a lot for watching my video and you guys have a good one.